You can work with Google Analytics for data not only in the interface or BigQuery. You can also do that in Google Sheets. Let me show you how to do that. If you want to export Google Analytics data to Google Sheets, you will need to use an extension. Even though Google has built their own extension, personally, I recommend GA4 Magic Reports. In my opinion, this extension is much better. It's more flexible than the one that Google built. So I will post a link to it below the video and you should first install it. Once you do that, then create a new Google Sheet and click Extensions and then GA4 Magic Reports, Create New Report. This will create a new sheet and a sidebar will open. You can give this report a name. For example, let's say that we want to get the top landing pages. Therefore, I will type landing pages. Then you will need to select a Google Analytics account and a property. For example, here I will select this account and this particular property. Then you can select the date range. With this extension, you can also use dynamic date ranges. For example, you can see the data of the last 30 days. But first, when you are configuring this, you will need to select any date range because these fields are required. Then we have dimensions and metrics. So let's select landing page. And then in metrics, let's say that I will select sessions, then total users, then we can select e-commerce purchases, and then some revenue metric, for example, total revenue. So it looks like all fields are filled in. Now click Create. What will happen is that this extension and that sidebar in particular, it will add a column in this sheet. Each column will represent a separate report. So for example, if you want to build like five different reports, then each report will have its own column. This column consists of various configurations related to the report. So here you can click on these cells to see the comment. Some of the cells will have definitely very useful comments. Let's say the end date or the start date. So far we have static dates, but if we want to get more dynamic data, let's say the last 30 days, then in the start date, you can enter 30 days ago. So we can copy this and then add it right here and change the date to last 30 days or 30 days ago. And then the end date could be today or yesterday. Knowing the nuances of Google Analytics, today's data is definitely not accurate. Therefore, let's include yesterday instead. And if we are looking at the yesterday and 30 days ago, it means that we are looking at 29 days ago. So usually if you care about the last four weeks, maybe we should select 29 days ago. So between these two dates, we will have 28 days. And for the beginning, I think that's enough. Now let's generate the actual report. So click extensions, then GA4 magic reports, and then run reports. After a while, you will see that one report was completed. We can click OK. And then here we see the sheet. I mean, it's a new sheet with that particular data. Right now I'm looking at the demo property. Therefore, I don't have a lot of data here, but we can still see the pages, the users, sessions. And if I had some revenue metrics, I would also see some numbers right here. If you want, you can also apply filters. For example, maybe you want to see the landing pages only of a particular traffic source. That could be done by going to Extensions, Magic Reports, and then Edit Report. You will need to wait for a bit until it finishes loading. And here I can select which report do I want to edit. If you had more columns here, then you would see more reports. Right now I just have one, which is landing pages. So I will click Edit. It will open a sidebar and here you will need to wait for a bit longer as well until these fields will be filled in again. And let's add a dimension filter where we want to include only that data where session source medium contains and then some traffic source. In this particular property, I don't think that I have organic traffic, but I know that I have some referral traffic. Therefore, I will just type referral and then save or save and run. If you click save and run, you will save the changes and you will run the report automatically. So let's do that. This might take a while, but eventually the new data will be fetched. 
Now click OK. If I go to landing pages, the list of pages has changed. It was reduced because obviously we filtered down the report to only particular traffic source. Now, if you're wondering where can you apply this knowledge? Well, first of all, it's Google Sheets. So if you want to fetch certain data from Google Analytics just for some one-time analysis, then you can do the rest right here. You can write formulas, you can remove these rows and then just display the table. This is up to you. But if you want, you can also build Looker Studio reports by connecting this Google Sheet to Looker Studio. First of all, I could, for example, name this sheet so that it would be easier for me to find. I will call this, let's say, G4 Magic Report Demo. And then I go to Looker Studio, I create a new report. Then I will select Google Sheets as the data source. Then here I can select the spreadsheet and a particular sheet. In this case, I have the landing pages, so I will select here. And then since this particular sheet contains a lot of stuff that I don't want in the report, I just need this. I can tell Looker Studio to include only a specific range. And in this case, it could be from A15 till the very end of the E column. So let's say just E like that and click Add. Here I see that some table was already created, but most of the dimensions or columns were not included. But I can do that by clicking here and selecting, let's say sessions, then total users, then e-commerce purchases, and then total revenue. Record count is not necessary, so I could technically remove that. And you can make this even a bit more user friendly. For example, instead of landing page displayed like this, you can click the pencil and then rename this to landing page, and then do the same thing for all other columns. So the reason why you might want to do this is because remember that when you connect Looker Studio directly to Google Analytics, you're using API quotas. If you are a small business, then you will probably not reach those monthly limits or daily limits. But if you are using more reports and you don't want to invest a lot of time in learning how to work with BigQuery, this might be an option for you because instead of querying the data with Looker Studio directly from Google Analytics, instead you are just querying, let's say once in 12 hours with Google Sheets and then the report in Looker Studio is actually not using any quotas anymore because it is then fetching data from Google Sheets. The current setup that I have right now, it just fetches the data once. There is no recurring element here, but this can be fixed because the GA4 Magic reports, they have some automatic features as well, where you could query data, let's say every day or every several hours and so on. This could be done by going to extensions, GA4 Magic reports, and then schedule reports. Here you should enable reports to run automatically, and then you can select the frequency. Is it every two hours or every day or every week or every month? Usually I think it's enough to have either every two hours or every day, because remember, if you set it every two hours, you will be using some quota of the API limits. But if you select it once a day, then you will exceed those limits much slower. Here you can also select the exact time when you want to fetch this and then click save. And that's pretty much it. So if you check, let's say this report tomorrow, its data will be slightly different than today. And that's how you can pull Google Analytics 4 data into Google Sheets. Special thanks go to Michele Pisani for creating the Magic GA4 reports extension. And I hope that I pronounced his name correctly. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.